I have a iPhone 12 Pro Max here. I'm gonna show you how to set it up step by step. At the end of this video, I'll also, we'll also go ahead and insert the, uh, the SIM card as well, all right? First thing is uh, go ahead and turn, off, uh, turn on your phone. You can simply just press and hold the power button for like five seconds or until you see the Apple logo appear, then go ahead and let go. And you should be on this setup screen right here, okay? So let's go ahead and set this up. First thing, you just wanna swipe up from the bottom, up like that. Choose your language. I'm gonna go with English here. You wanna choose your region. I live here in the US. Now, now if you have a previous iPhone, what you can do is bring it close to this phone right now, and you can go ahead and uh, sign in and set up that way as well. However, what we're gonna do is just a fresh start, so we're gonna go ahead and set up manually. So tap on that right there, then go ahead and get on your home Wi-Fi network. My Wi-Fi network is this one right here. Go ahead and enter your password. After you put in your password, click on join here. Hopefully this is the uh, correct password. Okay, that was correct. Now go ahead and give this a few minutes. Or actually it's gonna be less than a minute to activate the phone here. Okay, so that took about like 30 seconds or so. And from here, data and privacy, go ahead and click on continue. And then from here, you can go ahead and set up your face ID right now, click on continue, or you can do it later, or you don't have to do it at all. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap on set up later in settings. I'll probably set that up later. Okay, now we need to go ahead and create a passcode basically a uh, password to uh, go ahead and unlock your phone and it has to be all numbers here so go ahead and choose a six digit number that you're always going to remember then after you choose it you're going to have to retype it in one more time then after you do that now give it one second now you can go ahead and transfer apps and data to this iPhone here. If you have a, uh, another phone, it doesn't matter if it's an Android or iPhone, okay? So your options here is you can restore from iCloud backup. You can restore if you have a Mac or a PC, basically a Windows computer, or you can transfer directly from an iPhone, or you can move data from an Android phone, another Android phone directly to the um, this iPhone uh, 12 here. Or what I'm gonna do is don't transfer apps and data. I'm gonna do a clean slate here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this right here. You need to go ahead and enter your Apple ID. If you don't have one, you need to make one, all right? After you entered your Apple ID, go ahead and click on return. Now you have to input your password. After you put in your password, go ahead and click on return. Now this here just popped up on my iPhone 12 uh, Pro Max here, um, Apple ID verification code. Now what they did was sit, they sent it to one of my other devices and I just heard my other iPhone here something came up and it says your Apple ID is being used to sign in near Monrovia, California. So this message here pops up. I'm gonna go ahead and click on allow. Now I get this um, ID verification code, which I need to input into my new iPhone 12. And the activation code for me is 562122. Terms and conditions, you, you can go ahead and read through this. You do have to agree to this, okay? So I'm gonna tap on agree. Now give this a little bit. Okay, now we're under uh, express settings here. You can customize settings or you can just go ahead and tap on continue. I'm just gonna go with continue here, it's fine for me. Keep your phone up to date, let's tap on continue. Here's your Apple Pay that you can link your credit card to. You can do this right now, click on continue, or you can do it later or you don't have to do it at all. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up later in my wallet. Keep everything safe in iCloud. They basically want me to buy 50 gigs for 99 cents a month. I don't need it. I'm just gonna click on not now. And you can always go back and purchase it later if you wish, okay? Here's the uh, voice assistant Siri for iPhone. You can go ahead and set this up, click on continue, or you can set it up later in settings. I'm just gonna set, set this up later. Here's your screen time here. You can go ahead and continue if you want the screen time. The only thing with the screen time, I mean, it gives you insights to your uh, screen time and you can set um, time limits for apps that you want to manage, but it does take a little bit more battery juice too. So I'm just going to go ahead and put down uh, set up later in settings. You can set it up later or you don't have to ever set it up. I'm not going to set it up for myself. And then from here we have app analytics. You can go ahead and share um, certain crashes and whatnot to um, share with developers or you, you can click on don't share. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead, I'll share it with the app developers. Uh, True Tone Display, uh, if you don't want it with the True Tone Display, I mean, I mean, you, you can tap down here, see without True Tone, True Tone Display, you can tap on that. So you can just press and hold it, and you can see how that looks. 
okay? I'm gonna go ahead and go with the default here. This is perfectly fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue here. You want the appearance, you know, a lot of people like this dark theme appearance, or you can do the light. I'm just gonna go with the light here, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap on continue. Now you have a choice, you can leave it on standard or zoomed. If you do it on zoom, basically you'll get like larger text and controls. I'm fine with standard. You can always change this later on as well. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on continue from here. Okay, welcome to the iPhone, I just swipe up. Okay, we're in business. Now next thing we wanna do is go ahead and insert the uh, SIM card. So I'm gonna take the SIM card out of my old iPhone here. So there's my SIM card right there. Now if you look on the left hand side, we can see the, uh, the um, SIM tray right here. You can see the outline of it, it's that little hole right there. Go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool. It comes right in your box here. It should be in this pamphlet, yep, right there. Okay, if you, if you don't have this or you lost it, you can always use another SIM ejection tool from a different phone, even a um, like a thin paper clip or bobby pin, even the back of a stud earring, as long as it's like thin, it'll work. Okay, anyway, go ahead and turn this over. And then we see the uh, SIM tray right there. We're gonna put the needle right in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press in. Just press in until the lip pops out a little bit right here, and then we can go ahead and slide this out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it out just like this, okay? Well, they actually gave me another SIM card here. Ah, that is T-Mobile as well. Anyway, this is the one that works right here. Now I'm gonna hold it just like this. Now there's a diagonal slit on the top left-hand side, okay? So you just wanna basically match your uh, SIM card, okay? Keep it upside down like this where the metal contacts are facing you. And the, the diagonal slit is right there and right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and place this just like this, make sure it's nice and flush. And now what I'm gonna do is going to insert this. So I'm gonna put this in really slowly, just like this, and we'll see if it finds it, my carrier right away. So as I pop it in here, I'm gonna wait till I see some like recep this reception bars right there, T-Mobile wall, that was quick, okay? Depending on your carrier, sometimes they will, um, you'll get a message here to go ahead and uh, restart uh, your phone. Anyway, I'm up here, my uh, carrier here is T-Mobile. I see my uh, data reception bars right there. Now the next thing is, let me just look into the uh, my mobile settings, okay? So I'm gonna go into my settings here. And then from here, you wanna tap on cellular, right there. And now you can see by default, okay, the cellular um, data options are roaming. They turn mine off, okay? I like to have mine on. I don't get charged for data roaming whatsoever, so I always like to keep mine on. And you can see your network selection down here. Wi-Fi calling is on, calls on other devices is on as well. Okay, so I'm up and running, ready to use this phone. Good luck.